Galaxy S6 Edge Plus League show us a very familiar design. Microsoft lays the ground for the final requirements of Windows 10 for insiders, and privacy keeps giving Facebook a hard time, it seems. I'm Jaime Rivera, and if you're not a fan of Fridays, shame on you. This is Pocket Now Daily. The official news today start with Microsoft as we are just a few weeks away from the Windows 10 final release and it just sent out a memo to the Insider program over the procedures that have to be followed as, uh, first of all, the update will come as every other update for those using the Insider program, but this will be completely different for people that uh, want to buy a computer now and upgrade to Windows 10. So a uh, link to the description for the full process that you have to follow in the case of you're an Insider, uh, well, you will have to connect your Microsoft account for this to work, but again, it'll come as every other update great, which is great. You won't have to wipe your computer. And for those of you interested in a budget iPad, which uh, actually those words don't really match, but uh, there was always the first generation iPad mini for those interested in a entry level iPad with terrible screen resolution. And for those of you that still wanted that product for your kids or whatever, well, the product is no longer available in Apple stores or online. Apple has silently killed it. And uh, even though the other generation iPads are still there, uh, there are some multitasking features that are not compatible with these products with iOS 9. So if you're in the market for a new iPad, I suggest you wait. Other official news have Sprint ending one of the biggest ironies, like for example, having LTE data and have that be throttled because uh, they consider that you are having high demand of it. It is extremely bad as a practice, and after AT&T got fined for this a few weeks ago, well, Sprint has just confirmed that it will stop doing this, which is great. Sprint is one of the few carriers that still gives you unlimited data, and that makes sense for you to actually get what you pay for. If they offer LTE, you should get LTE speeds, even if you consume as much as you want. Now, another company that's facing issues with governments is Facebook. You know, the company's new Facebook Moments application that allows you to uh, streamline using face detection in a way to help you share photos in a different way. It's a really cool service. It's available in the United States for iOS and Android, but uh, well, the European Union has just stated that uh, they will not allow the app to work until Facebook gives users the option to opt in or opt out. As a uh, facial recognition, while cool, is obviously a privacy concern. Something that Facebook deals with a lot. What do you feel about this service? I don't really care about it anyways. And finally, for the very interesting leaks of the day, if you don't want your Galaxy S6 to be set on a charger half the day because it is terrible when it comes to battery life, the Galaxy S6 Edge Plus is your option. We've been covering these leaks for the longest time, and we now get some renders of the device, and uh, well, it looks exactly like the Galaxy S6 Edge in everything but the microphone hole, which is at the other opposite end of the phone. But that's pretty much the only difference than everything else. Yeah, it is a larger phone. You do get a larger battery, which is great. So again, this could be a great option for those of you wanting a phablet with this design. And it does lead me to the question of the day. If you had to choose between the regular size Galaxy S6 or the larger one, which one would you pick? In my case, battery life. I'd go for the larger one, but leave us a comment down below. What is your case? And friends, you know the drill. If you want to get the news earlier before this video is filmed, make sure you follow us on Paganow.com. Subscribe to our YouTube channel as well. You can also follow me on Twitter, Jaime underscore Rivera. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like what you saw. I am Jaime Rivera. Thank you very much for watching. This show will return next week.